Today I'm going to show you some bonus features for the media console that we built in the last video. In a previous video we showed you how to make a DIY media console out of plywood and clapboard cedar siding. You can click on the link here to find this video. For the first few versions, we used off-the-shelf components for legs, like shelf brackets or hairpin legs. But if you want to take your DIY game to the next level, here's how you can make these really cool legs out of 2x3s. So I cut a bunch of pieces of 2x3 to lengths. You can find all the dimensions on my website. I then pre-drilled holes and screwed four of the pieces down to a scrap piece of plywood. I then sent the blade of my circular saw to about half an inch and then made a series of cuts down the center of all four of the 2x3s to make a recess as wide as a 2x3. After checking to make sure that a 2x3 fit in the recess, I drew 45 degree lines on all of these pieces. I then set the angle of my compound miter saw to 45 degrees and cut along the lines that I just drew. I wanted to taper the legs, so I just drew some lines and then used my circular saw to cut along them. I then sanded them down with my orbital sander. I decided I didn't quite like how they looked, so I set a stop block and then cut down the angles just a little bit. I then glued and screwed the pieces together in such a way to minimize the amount of screw heads that you see from the outside. I also pre-drilled all my holes just to make sure that I didn't split the pieces that I had just spent so much time cutting. I used construction adhesive instead of wood glue to glue the center support to the two leg pieces. It's just a little bit thicker and there's more gaps between these three pieces so I thought it would work a little bit better than traditional wood glue. I finished the legs with a coat of Danish oil. To attach the legs, I used two and a half inch long screws that I screwed through the center support and into the media console. With these legs, this project is 100% DIYable and can be made for less than $100. There are a lot of cabinet pull options out on the market, but I thought it'd be cool to make one that was completely unique. So I took some old stones that I had found on a previous hiking trip and decided to drill a hole into them and see if I could turn them into a cabinet pull. After hot gluing the stone to a scrap piece of plywood, I drilled a hole into it using a drill bit that was meant for glass or tile. Once I had drilled a hole that was about as deep as the head of a bolt, I mixed some two-part epoxy, dipped the bolt in it, and then glued it to the rock. I then unscrewed the old concrete handle and added this new one made from stone. For more detailed information, go to my website and be sure to follow me on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.